Hi, I'm Dr. Maima Albaida. I'm the director of the musculoskeletal ultrasound and injection clinic here in Johns Hopkins at the Division of Rheumatology. So I'm here today to talk to you about joint injections, what they entail, and what to expect um, when you're referred for such a procedure. So a joint injection is a procedure that can be done in anybody with a swollen joint or a painful joint. Um, it helps us actually determine what the swelling is from, and that's more for a diagnostic standpoint. It also can be therapeutic in the sense that we can use that injection to go in and instill medications, such as steroids, mixed with an anesthetic that helps calm down the swelling and calm down the pain in that joint. We first examine the joint, determine if that is something that um, would be appropriate for the type of pain and swelling that the patient is describing. We then clean the area, we'll sterilize the area, then go in with a really small needle, give you anesthetic agents, or we withdraw fluid out. And then once we've taken fluid out, if there is fluid in it, we can then instill the steroid and the lidocaine um, combination, which is what will really help to decrease the pain. And then we take the needle out, put the band-aid and you're done. So an ultrasound of the joint actually helps us determine what the issue is, particularly with the joint. So one, it's painful and it's swollen, but what is the cause of it? Is it because the tendons are inflamed? Is it because there's extra joint tissue that sounds like RA? Is it because it looks like gout? It would really benefit to actually look under ultrasound and probably guide the needle in with ultrasound. And things like, let's say, the wrist or smaller joints of the hands, particularly when we're dealing with issues like a tendon where we want to go into a very specific area. So the patient will actually need fluid out when the fluid and swelling is really a lot. So by taking out fluid, you're relieving it of pressure already. Just doing that in itself will decrease their pain. But we also take fluid out because we want to know why that swelling happened in the first place. And we're also always concerned of the possibility of someone having a new infection causing swelling in that joint. So fluid taken out can be sent for analysis to test for all these things aside from just relieving the pressure. But important to note is that injections are temporary measures. It's never going to really be something that is going to be permanent depending on why we are doing it. With every procedure that we do, of course, there are risks. But we can tell you that the risks are actually very small. So one is that you can get increased pain with the joint injection itself. One from the procedure, but usually that's minimal. We anesthetize the area well, um, so it's usually very well tolerated. But sometimes also, people can have almost an inflammatory reaction to the steroid that's given. But that risk is, again, very, very small and minimized when we mix it with an anesthetic agent. Um, another potential risk is that of bleeding, and people who are in blood thinners are concerned about that. But we can tell you that the risks are actually, again, very low, and that's been well studied. So there is no need to actually hold your anticoagulation. Once we've done the um, injection, people ask, can we move around? Yes, of course, you can even go and do your usual activities like driving. But we would tell you, rest it as much as you can for the next two days or so. Not because you're going to injure the joint, but because we also want the medication to stay in there and do its job. We use the smallest needles possible, um, our technique is very good, and so this is called a minimally invasive procedure. It's, not, it's something that can be done at bedside, so it's really not something to lose sleep over.